I have one more quick addendum to my connections between interface rings video. This one is regarding how the frame actually made it to the interface ring. In this photo, we can see where the leg meets the interface ring on the port stern section of the sub, or right rear if you're looking at the front of the Titan. As someone who's only lived in a desert since 1975, having zero experience with things that float in the water, this boat terminology is very foreign to me, but I've discovered why this terminology is used. It's very easy to get left and right confused with respect to the front or bow, so I will try to stick to this boating terminology from now on. Anyway, what we are looking at here is a piece of machine metal that connects the side rail, tail framing, interface, ring, and legs all together in one location. This piece, which I'll call the frame connector, is bolted to the side lugs of the interface rings. As we can see here, the leg simply mates the interface ring by means of an axe-shaped wedge that sits in a V-shaped notch. The only things actually holding the frame to the lower lugs on the interface rings are the two frame release pins, which I detailed in my first addendum video. So the only way that the frame could have trouble being dropped in case of emergency is if one or both pins fail to come out. Here we can see this piece all by itself. It's not the best quality, but in this photo you can see a pair of these frame connectors waiting for Titan to be fully assembled. The front ones would be similar to the ones in the rear, but without the dog leg needed for the tail framing. I think this makes this aspect of the Titan pretty clear. One thing to note is that there appears to be two different versions of these frame connector thingies. If you look in these pictures, these are a different design, completely different design than the ones that I've been showing previously in this same video. So that leads me to believe that there, this might be due to differences between the 2017 carbon fiber cylinder and the 2020 carbon fiber cylinder. It would appear that maybe they had to rebuild the sub to switch out the carbon fiber cylinder and at the same at that time they changed the design of this uh, frame connector thingy so that they could put lifting points on it as well. You can also see in this picture with Stockton peeking out the front that there are no lifting hooks on the top of the interface ring on this version. A couple of other curiosities. We can see the old style of frame connectors here with the tail section having a horizontal seam. In this photo we can see the new style of frame connectors are present with the tail having the horizontal seam. In this photo there is no horizontal seam on the tail section. It is also being lifted by the loops on the interface ring whereas in this picture it is being lifted by the eyelets at the top of the frame connector pieces. I can only speculate if any of these things correlate with which version of carbon fiber cylinder was actually in the Titan when it imploded, if it actually ever did indeed get switched out.